Hi, welcome to Storytime. My name is Jordan. I'm from the Bowen Island Public Library and you are here today with me for Storytime. Yay! Welcome. Our first song today is going to be our welcome song and if you've been here before you know how it goes. You just need a seat. So if you can find a seat you can sing along with me. You ready? If you're ready for a story take a seat. If you're ready for a story take a seat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Yay! Our story time theme today is opposites. I have a cool rhyme for you about opposites. I reach my hands way up high. They can almost reach the sky. I bend way down low and touch the floor just so. Can you do that with me? Reach your hands way up high. You can almost touch the sky. And bend way down low and touch the floor just so. So do you know what an opposite is? What is an opposite? Here's an example. What's the opposite of up? Down. What's the opposite of dark? If I'm in the dark, what's the opposite? Light. So an opposite is just something completely different. It's the reverse of something. If I'm in that corner of the room, the opposite corner would be that corner of the room. And that's how opposites work. So that's our story time today is about opposites, different things. Let's sing our first song together. It's called, This is Big, Big, Big. And it's all about opposites. You wanna sing with me? Great. So we'll start with, this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. You got that? This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Do you want to try that one more time with me? Got all the hand motions and the opposite. So this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Good job. Great singing, great hand motions. And now let's go to our first song. It's a story about a boy who is afraid of what's on the opposite side of the wall. So if you're on one side of the wall and the opposite side of the wall, what's on it? Let's find out. And pop, I'm up in the corner. Can you see me? This is our story today. It's called The Wall in the Middle of the Book and it's by John Agee. And there's the wall in the middle of the book. It's published by Dial Books for Young Readers, which is part of the Penguin Random House group. There is a wall in the middle of the book. And it's a good thing. The wall protects this side of the book. The side, can you see the side he's on? That little guy, he's picking up a brick probably going to fix the wall. So the wall protects this side of the book from the other side of the book. So can you see what's on the other side of the book, the opposite side of the wall? There's a lot of animals, aren't there? This side of the book is safe. His side. The other side is not. So the side with all the animals, he says, is not safe. But what's on his side? Hmm. The most dangerous thing on the other side of the book is the ogre. Can you see the ogre? If the ogre ever caught me, he would eat me up. Eat me up real quick. 
That's why I'm glad there's a wall in the middle of the book and that I'm on this side of it. Which side of the wall would you want to be on right now? Wait a second. What is going on? <gasps> what does he see? All the water? It's getting up super high, isn't it? Oh no. This is not supposed to happen on this side of the wall. Oh no. <gasps> uh oh. Is the ogre grabbing him? Wow! Thank you so much! Oh no! I'm on the other side of the book! Which side of the book would you want to be on? And you are the ogre who's going to eat me up! Oh no! Do you think the ogre's bad, though? He hasn't eaten him up yet. Ha ha ha! I'm actually a nice ogre, and this side of the book is fantastic. Come on, I'll show you around. It does look better than the other side with the huge fish, huge fish. What would you do? Would you follow the ogre? Hey ogre, wait for me. He's gonna follow him. Oh, and look how fun it is. All of the animals, they're all so happy and nice. The mouse too. <laughs> the end. That was a great story, wasn't it? Would you be afraid of what's on the other side of the wall? Probably, until you got there and then you realized it was so fantastic. Well, because we're doing opposites, let's sing another song, do another rhyme about opposites. And for this, you're gonna need to be able to move around. You can stand up, because you're gonna have to reach up really, really high, and then reach down really, really low and you're gonna be moving around. So find some space, stand up if you want, and let's do this rhyme together. The opposite, it's called up to the ceiling. Ready? So we're gonna go up to the ceiling, down to the floor, can you touch the floor? Left to the window, do you know your lefts and rights? Otherwise just point in a direction, left to the window, and then point in the opposite direction, right to the door. This is my right hand, Raise it up high. This is my left hand. Reach for the sky. They're both up high, both of them. Right hand, left them, twirl them around. Left hand, right hand, pound, pound, pound. That's pretty fun. Let's do it one more time and I want to see you do it all with me and say it with me if you can too. Ready? Up to the ceiling down to the floor, left to the window, right to the door. This is my right hand, raise it up high. This is my left hand, reach for the sky. Right hand, left hand, twirl them around. Left hand, right hand, pound, pound, pound. Good job, that was so great. And that means it's the end of our story time, which means we get to sing our goodbye song. And for that goodbye song, you're also gonna need your hands, your left and your right hands, and wave with me, ready? We wave goodbye like this, we wave goodbye like this, we clap our hands for all of our friends, we wave goodbye like this, yay! So great, well this is my last story time, that is virtually recorded for you. And from next week onwards, you can be at a live online story time. So check our website for our live story times with Aubin. And that's gonna be so great. So goodbye for now. Thank you so much for watching all these with me. Bye.